these are all our contact sheets. And the volunteers and us, we're gonna help you go through them and pick pictures that will ultimately could be in our gallery show. Okay? Awesome, right? Hello, my name is Jessica Rockwoods. I'm a multimedia producer for Newsday. And in my spare time, um, I've been working as a teaching artist with the Pavlov Shutterbugs. It's a time for the students to have an outlet, to not be reminded they have an illness. Cancer is not invited to the party. We're there to basically teach them photography, to help them develop their creative voice through the use of their camera. I took this on my windowsill. These are my sister's flowers, and uh, they were on the windowsill, and I thought I would get like the background, but it like turned out all white and looks really cool. It's, it's hard having been through cancer, and it's hard watching someone go through cancer as well. It's not, it's not an easy experience. No child should have to go through cancer. It's really a creative outlet, which is why I love this program so much. It gives a child a chance to express how imaginative they are. I believe that the ability to get away from the medicine, to get away from the doctors is important. And I think uh, telling their life story is important and a place to express themselves. We met in the clinic because we both had cancer. My favorite thing to take pictures of is my best friends. We will be friends for the, our whole lives. And then over here, we have Nicolina. They come here just to escape from the reality for a little while. Um, and then if they can't make it, um, we do have volunteers who actually go to the hospital and uh, teach the lessons to the children. And you've made a lasting impression on me because it's still oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> she so did that cute. last week, it won't come a off. A real tattoo? <laughs> it doesn't come off. Maybe it's real. You know, having a, a student that's off the main you know, uh, campus, so to speak, um, was, was different for me. Uh, but it was rewarding, and you know, I was able to spend a couple hours with her and take her away from this, this thing that she's going through. The two hours on Saturday while the child is in class, it allows the parents to have two free hours as well. It gives them a little bit of a break from treatment that they've been shuttling them back and forth to. It also allows them to have, you know, maybe, maybe it's more one-on-one -on -one time with another sibling. She was like a different kid for five weeks. You know, she was very shy and introverted during treatment with leukemia, and she never wanted to be in pictures or even take pictures because, you know, she lost her hair, she kind of lost her confidence, and now that she's off treatment for a year and a half and she ran into this program, she smiles for the camera, she asks to take pictures, and it just kind of boosted her self-confidence and, you know, changed her for the better. It's amazing how much a child with cancer observes because they're conditioned to trying to understand what they're going through while trying to understand the world around them. And so they're observing all the more than a child would normally. They've taught me in the past five weeks uh, just to be carefree and just to enjoy life and not take everything so seriously. All these children have a story to tell and they were encouraged over the five weeks to learn how to tell a story just like I do every day. It's just a feeling that I really can't describe because it's just an amazing feeling. Then you're just gonna make me cry. All right. <laughs> we all had been through cancer generally. They had such an optimism. It encouraged me to not feel sorry for them but to be proud of who they are and be proud that no matter what they're going through, they're just so determined to enjoy life and not think of anything else. It reminded me of being a kid and reminding myself, just live for the moment, just, just have fun, enjoy yourself. It was just a great experience for me. It was really great.